shoulders up to the ears or a shoulder shrug. You're just lifting and you're just trying to really take the shoulders into the ears. Nice and tall in that seated position or if you're in that standing position as I move that chair back it would look with my head not cut off as I fix that screen a little bit it would look just like this. Up and down nice and tall. We'll do two more just like this. It's a nice little shrug and it's a squeeze of the shoulders into the ears as you relax and rest down. Now, from that seated position again, that next exercise is going to be a shrug again, but you're going to take those shoulders up, back, and down. So they're going to come up, back and down. Now I'm going to throw two modifications onto this, which will be actually three different modifications because this is the first modification as you go up, back, and down. The next one we're going to go up and you're just going to raise those elbows up and take them back and down. So it's going to be just up, raise those elbows as they come up through and take them back and down. So again, you're shrugging through and you're lifting the shoulders up almost like you have some weights in your hand and you're rolling those elbows back and down. Now, the third modification will be taken up and as you go back and down, you're going to take those arms back as far as you can and circle them around. So it's that shrug, lift the elbows up and then open up those hands and take them back as far as you can. Again, it's a slow motion. Here's your shrug, lifting those elbows, expanding and extending those hands, opening up that diaphragm, and taking those arms back as high as you can, nice and smoothly as best you can. Now rest it down. Now, we're still on exercise number two. We've got to go forward now. So now we're going to take those arms back, up, and forward. So we're going to roll forward. So you can imagine what that transition or that adaptation is going to look like or that second modification. So this is the first one. We've been doing this one. We've been rolling back. Now we're going to roll forward. You got it. And then we're going to change that motion. So again, we're going to take them back. We're going to lift up. And you're going to come forward and down with them. Take them up. Lift up those elbows. And come forward. And you're going to feel this in those shoulders because what's happening now is you take those elbows back, you're lifting up those elbows and you're coming forward with it almost like you're giving a bear hug. But you're really not circling around and giving a bear hug because those arms are just dropping down. Now for that third modification, up and circle around as high as possible as you take them up, up and come around. And I'm really feeling that as I go back, I go back, I go up and I circle those arms as high and as far as I can take them and as wide as I can take them as well. And I'm just really trying to open up. Oh boy. Take them back, bring them up, and rest it and shake it off. That was number two. And number three is just kind of just flopping them through, just like this. Ah, uh, there you go. Get to that third exercise, an easy one here. You're just flopping those shoulders and those arms back and forth just to loosen up a little more before we go to that fourth exercise, which I know you're all prepared for. So you had that shoulder shrug or that neck shrug. You had that up, back, and down or back, up, and forward. And then you had this third one right here back and forth, just letting them flop, flop, flop back and forth, there you go, and then we're going to go to that fourth one back as you rest them down and bring to the front. So that fourth one now will be as you shake off a little bit, it's going to be a little bit of a contralateral movement. So when I say contralateral, you're going to take that left arm, that left arm is going to rise up to the front and that right arm is going to go out to the side. And then you're just going to bring forward and then drop them down, as you saw what I just did there. So it's going to be 
left arm up to the side, right to the front, and you're just going to take that left arm to the front, right arm to the side, and you're just going to drop them down. Same motion again, left to the front, right to the side. There you go. And then you're going to come up and do it again. Get that motion. There you go. Nice little exercises for you, right? Come on up. Drop them down. Number four, right? So we did three different exercises. This is the fourth. You did that shoulder shrug. You did that up, back, and down. Or you did that back, up, and down. Or back, up, and forward. You did a little torso twist almost with those arms. And now you're doing a little contralateral movement for the shoulders. Last one here. And you're going to just slow them down. That was number four. Number five is going to look like this. So you're going to just circle those arms. Yeah, right? Circle those, circle those arms. Up and around. Come to the front like you're bear hugging somebody. Bring it back into your chest and press it down. Number five. Circle them out. Big bear hug like you're wrapping your arms around a tree. Bring those palms back into your chest and press them down for number five. Nice big inhalation here. And a nice exhalation here. Press it down. Now again, if you were standing, it would look like this, a big circle. Bring them to the chest. And press it down. Nice big wide circle. Come to that chest. Press them down. And you're gonna feel that range of motion improve each and every time in that shoulder. Now, we want to relax those shoulders because we want to get that overuse either. And this is number five. You still got to get to number six. To improve that range of motion in the shoulder. One more time through. Bring them back. Wrap them down as I press down. I'm going to take that seat. And then that next exercise is going to be lift up that right hand as high as you can and take that left arm back. So now you're going to just take that left arm up and that right arm back. I'll turn my chair so you can see exercise six right here from the side. You're going to take your left arm up, right arm back, right arm up, left arm back. You have it seated or standing. You're trying to take them back as far as you can, so you're trying to get the flexion with the right arm. You're trying to get the extension with the left. Nice and tall. Relax the shoulders. Lift up as high as you can. Right arm's going up, left arm's going back. Left arm's going up, right arm's going back. Oh. Six exercises for improved range of motion. Will this help the discomfort? Of course. Will it help the dull and achiness? Of course. Will it help with the AC joint? Of course. Will it help you have better efficiency? Yes. Will you make better effectiveness with mobility? Yes. Will you feel relieved? I don't know because you can still feel these arms moving. But it's going to improve that range of motion. It's going to give you a better quality of life and ultimately it's going to improve the effectiveness you have with breathing and your ability to be more independent and reach things that you never thought you could reach. Get to those heights, climb that mountain and keep on coming back for these exercises. And I know this is a shorter video today, but this was an exercise routine for the stretcher and the freeze, the combination to hit those shoulders and this was shoulder number 11. Six exercises to improve that range of motion. From that window to the wall, from that floor to that door. Peace, my friend. Go on, peace.
and that light all can see. Lamp your feet, my children.